Andre Ewell is uh, going to meet uh, Charles Jordan. Charles R. Jordan riding score of 11 4 1 and uh, 5 foot 9 69 inches of reach out of uh, Belal, Quebec. And he was born in Montreal. Well, Charles Jordan was having lots of ups and downs. Not a UFC vet yet, but the TKO, he was so brutal defeating Alex Morgan, Damien Lepilus, and uh, he was better than, than Doho Choi, Marcelo Rojo, but he lost to this green Andre Feely, Julian Arosa. And he was always, uh, you know, losing in a very, very close combat. He fought to a draw against Joshua Kulibau, extremely tough fighter. He can knock you out cold, but he can fight for three rounds. The guy has a bit of everything, but I think his uh, strongest uh, point is uh, his stand-up game. That's how I see it. Also, Andre Ewell is riding on two back-to-back -back losses to Chris Gutierrez and Julio Arce. He outruck Jonathan Martinez and Irving Rivera. He was better than Anderson Dos Santos. He Burrell lost to Marlon Vera and Nathaniel Wood. I got to say that Andre Ewell is... Uh, a decision specialist, his cardio is so, so great. Some people say that Andre Ewell doesn't have a knockout power, but against Trent, we've seen that he can knock people out. Against Gustavo Lopez, too. Lost to Patrick Mix, Vera Ernaki Choke. Um, Ewell has fair submission skills, but his submission defense was critical in the past. Now he has improved that aspect of the game. And Charles Jordan, you can't call Charles Jordan a submission specialist. He lost to Julian Rosa via Darsh Choke, so... I see a great stand-up war between these two guys, and uh, I do believe this is going to be a long one, but a lot of outsmarting is going to be seen. That's how I see this fight, technical battle, technical fight. Andre Ewell's reach is 76 inches, Jordan's reach is 69 inches, which means Ewell is going to have 7 inch of uh, reach advantage. So Andre Ewell told me it's 76, I know topology says 75, but Ewell told it's 76, so... I'm going to tell you that this is going to be a great battle and both of these guys are going to put on a show. I predict this fight goes into round 3 or over 2.5 works for me for this fight. If I have to pick a side range, um, if I really must pick a side, I would go with Jordan, but I'm unsure about the side. I'm going with over 